I am not getting through that. Welcome again to another video. Uh, today I am near Creamfields. Whoa! Some Creamfield signage left. It's basically a little wooded area opposite the site of Creamfields. Um, it just houses many mysterious artifacts and things. Uh, there's like a little small cave. There's loads of like bottles, looks like an old bottle tip, um, and like some machinery, like cogs and wheels and stuff. So um, I'm here today to basically just check it out properly. Um, we'll see you in a bit. And one has forgotten his glasses today. So I'm like that, walking through trying to find things. So I hope not to miss anything. Now, as the title of the video suggests, um, Secret Creamfields waterfall. Yes, it's got a water course running through Creamfields from I think some sort of like sluice pond um, and it continues under the ground and comes out in this little valley. Now the valley is in between the top of the Dersby Expressway and Dersby Lodge which is the Dental Academy and this stream runs right down the road surface so I'm going to walk further on up and check it out and show you the little waterfall at the end here is the first little artefact um, I assume that is some sort of lawn flattener what's left of the handle the first little little artifact I've come across just up there on top of the valley there's some sort of sandstone that basically continues all the way across and then creates some sort of little cave further on up so it'll be quite interesting to know what what was here I assume, I guess, this was part, or still is part, of the lodge. Maybe the bottles were from the lodge in the old days. The bottle tip, or the, when they used to have tips in the olden days. Um, I may be wrong, just a guess. So, we're going to go further up anyway and have a look. Last time I was here, you could see through all this. It, was, it wasn't good. No. leads into some sort of sandstone cavern. We'll go and check that out. 
just for anyone wondering up there that is the end of the Dave's Expressway obviously to your right goes to Manchester left to Warrington and if you ever drive and up and you get to the traffic lights this is what's in that valley just left at the side of this tree is um, an old bottle I thought it was an old HP source one but just looking at it it's got no markings on it it's just a, a basic blank bottle so I'm going to check on upstream and see if I can find any more some more evidence of old bottles there there's that very strange cave I've been telling you about it's like an old shovel there further in. Looks like it was some sort of building in it today. There's an old spade there. Here is another interesting artefact. Let's put my camera around a bit. I thought it was a cog, but it's not. It's like a forms part of some machinery, though. Mm. Onwards and upwards. Just approaching the sandstone part where the brook, I assume it's a brook, runs through the middle of this valley. I'm going to take a little walk upstream right through the middle of this water without slipping again there's more sandstone just there on the left So peaceful. trying to be as quiet as I can because up on the left where the lodge is I'm not sure if this land actually belongs to the lodge and um, it's the car park it's just up the top here and there's like a smoking area it's like the remains of a walkway as well across the brook so it must have been something in the state of this place came across this old bottle and um, it says on it R and W Cooperative Society Limited um, pasteurized milk so I don't know how old that is but you certainly don't see them nowadays right making our way up through the waterfall, through all this woody area, an overgrown area, without trying to make a sound. No, I have to go around. Can't get through there. Slightly out of breath. I had to make a detour around all that. It was just too much to get through. And this is what I've come to see. Yeah, 
I know it's not much of a waterfall, but it's waterfalling. imagine that obviously coming this way under the road surface and uh, cream fields is where it's coming from or whatever field it's called it must be part of this lodge see a little set of steps here coming down it's like this path so it must belong to the lodge and the talk of creed fields possibly an old welly from not this year but maybe last year or the year before we just tossed over the edge I've left it there just in case anyone comes back for it. Possibly in 2021. For all this COVID-19 lacks over. Some sort of steps there, the continuation up from the top, but it's all overgrown there, so might be wrong, like, but they look like steps to me. Yeah, when I come out, it's fucking cold. Put my big coat on, I've walked around for a bit, but I sweat is dripping off me. I'm fucking slipping. The whole place is just freaking slippy. Just spotted these as well. It's like the remains of some sort of telegraph pole. I don't know if they're old or new. I think this used to be an old bottle tip. What an old tip. Because there's all sorts of little bottles and glass poking out this soil. And it goes right the way up to the top. It's just a pity I haven't got a little spade on me or something, I can dig some out. So maybe um, another time I can come back with a little spade and dig out. Definitely looks like there's something amongst all that soil. Definitely. I'll just give you one last look at this little cavey thing before I go. Um, there's not much else really to see. It starts to rain. Uh, it's pretty dark. I haven't got my glasses and I've got a little torch So I'm gonna come back someday possibly in the week and Dig up a little bit see if I can find some some more bottles and stuff. There's definitely definitely something under all of this definitely it just looks like It just looks like it shouldn't be like that And then you go upstream towards the Creamfields waterfall. Here's another look at that old spade as well. The light now has gone really, really bad. It's clouded over, so I've had to whack this into um, auto mode to bump the ISO. But yeah, a peculiar place.
opposite the little cave is more sandstone with the little stream running through it or underneath it I should say and if anyone's into the bricks or brickwork there's quite a lot of these as well Huncoats or Huncoat of Accrington so underneath this site there must be loads of uh, undiscovered things Mad, mad place. Just another little look at that bottle before I go. Again, I don't know how old that is, but it doesn't look modern, should we say. So if anyone knows, let me know. Something else just left lying around there. No markings on it. Like a little cooking pot. No, no, leave you there. Right, it is now time for me to depart this little valley. Um, I hope you've liked it. It's not the most of interesting places, but it's something probably people don't see every day. Or if you've been up the road and you've come down the expressway and you've always wondered what's behind that fence or what's down there, well, this is it. Just a little land of mystery at the moment. Um, so if anyone knows what it used to be, because I can't find out online, um, let me know. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, I know I've had a haircut and changed my t-shirt in the last 10 minutes. But yeah, camera died yesterday when I went to film the outro. So um, I've come back the next day just to film the outro. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Bye.